Now, the first time I saw this mask was about two months ago when we saw a, you know, leaked photo of it hit the internet. We couldn't really see much, but God damn, that's a lot of holes. And was there finally gonna be a mask that breathes better than my 25 year old JT Proflex? Guys, if you've ever thought that you wanna support this paintball channel, but you're looking to buy some paintball gear, maybe you wanna buy this Carbon Zero. Head over to bfpgear.com. They've supported this channel for a long time and you know, supporting them and buying paintball stuff from them helps support me. bfpgear.com. They're also known as blackfridaypaintball.com. To figure out if adding more holes means more ventilation, we've got to try the thing on. But before we put it on, we got to take it out of the case. And the case is pretty nice. It's padded. I wouldn't say it's crush proof. You know, you can still kind of squeeze and bend the thing. It does have a center zipper pouch. You could store like a microfiber in there or something. I put my camera in there. It's a nice case. There are no other masks on the market coming with anything like this. So normally you gotta buy one for an additional $30. So it's just cool that the carbon masks are coming with it. And trying it on, the ventilation is a wonderful. I mean, we talked about it, right? The thing's covered in holes and all those holes definitely help the ventilation. There's these kind of like cool channel sections on the side, but they're kind of faced backwards. So if you get shot in the front, the paint's not gonna go directly in, but it kind of keeps those sides really open. There's great ventilation around the ears. I mean, you can just see there's tons of holes even on the side. There's really not a new modern paintball mask that breathes better. I mean, the HK Army SLR, there's the Push Unite, Bunker King have the Command, the Die I-5. All four of those masks are really good, but honestly, this Carbon Zero breathes way, way better. And there are actually four different ways to buy this. There's the Pro version, a solid version, and then within those two different versions, there are different sizes, a less coverage and a more coverage. I have the pro version in the less coverage, and the more coverage is, well, you know, more coverage. I think it's about three-fourths of an inch bigger everywhere, so that's really everywhere. It's gonna be three-fourths longer in the front, three-fourths taller kind of on the back section of the ear. I think this is really cool because there are other masks that offer like larger versions, like say the Virtue Vio Extend. They offer kind of a longer faceplate, but when you look at it from the side, it just looks crazy long. So with the carbon mask, the Zero, having it kind of be bigger everywhere, it just kind of looks a little bit more normal and a little bit more uniform. And I really like the extended like side coverage, right? I mean, if you want it bigger in the front, you're probably gonna want it a little bigger on the side. So I kind of like how they've made that larger version, the more coverage version, more coverage kind of all around, not just in the front. And to keep the thing a little bit more secure, the more coverage is actually gonna come with a two inch goggle strap versus the, I think one and a half inch that the you know, less coverage mask is gonna come with. And then there's that pro and solid version. And the pro version is gonna have a much more flexible rubber. And the solid version, kind of like the name would suggest, is gonna be much more solid. And the pro version's really soft. I mean, if you're really old like I am, you might remember the JT eyes. JT Proflex eyes, maybe they called those things. They were like a clear mask and they were very, very soft. The rubber is gonna be very similar to that. But those JT masks had a problem over time with the mask kind of like bending and warping because they were so soft. I think that these feel a little bit different than those though. Those were really gummy and kind of like a little bit more squishy. This mask, while flexible a lot, the plastic or the rubber feels a little bit firmer. So I think over time, it will probably hold up quite a bit better than those JT masks. And then we have the solid version and the solid version you think would be really hard, right? But it's still not. It's still gonna be flexible and still kinda movable or pliable like some of the other high-end masks. I don't have one. I've not actually felt the solid version, but I was told it's gonna be really similar to like the Virtue Vio masks. Kinda like that extend we were talking about where it's not super soft and squishy, but it's still really flexible. So it's still gonna like provide that same comfort that those flexible masks are going to, but maybe provide a little bit more protection and being a little bit harder you know, compared to that you know, pro version. There's definitely a price difference though. The pro ones are gonna sell for 230 and then the solid's gonna start at $200, but the pro version also is gonna come with an additional lens. The pro's gonna always come with like those mirrored lenses, but also come with that additional clear lens. 
Taking that lens out is also very easy, really easier than probably most masks. On both sides of the lens, on the inside, there's a little like tabs that flip forward. You rotate them, pull them out, and then the lens just pushes out through the front. It's very easy, simple, quick, so you can change from that mirrored lens to the clear lens. And along with the mask, Carbon are actually gonna release a whole slew of lenses, and they've kind of broken them out into three different categories. We have a low light, mid light, and a high light. I mean, really, it's probably kind of easy to tell what the lenses do just by low light, high light, and mid light, but Carbon have made this a fantastic chart that kind of help illustrate or help you decide what lens you want. And if you click on a lens on their website, you can actually use this slider to see what it's like. It's great. They've done a fantastic job just at the lens stuff. I really like It's great. And the Zero Pro for me is a very, very comfortable. They've kind of done two things with having all that ventilation. I think having a lot of ventilation kind of just helps the air move around a lot, right? You're getting the air in and out. So it kind of just doesn't feel as much like you have something on your head. Whereas masks that don't breathe as well, it's like claustrophobic maybe, or just hot and muggy. So it kind of reminds you you have the mask on. And I think having all that ventilation, you just reduce the amount of material on the mask. Material, I said a little odd. You reduce the amount of material, you reduce the amount of material on the mask, so it just makes the thing really light. And it's extremely light. I mean, it's the lightest high-end mask you can buy right now. Lighter than everything. Really wish I weighed it. I like forgot, I had to give the thing back and I didn't weigh it. Speaking of which, I did a live stream a while ago. We'll see like about three weeks ago, we did an unboxing of the Zero Pro. There were a few things I noted on there in the unboxing that actually aren't gonna come on finished versions since I had pre-production model. One of the things I didn't like were these little tabs on the side of the ears. It just didn't make any sense. It was like either make it solid or just get rid of these tabs. Yeah, they've done that. On the production shipping versions, the tab just won't be there and no one will ever know. Both the Pro and the Solid have quick change or quick removable foam, but it's a little bit more difficult than some of the other high-end masks. I mean, it still only takes like 20 seconds, but the other high-end mask just kind of feels like the foam's gonna fall off and the mounting system is not very good. On the Zero, I really like how on the bottom foam, at least, there's this back little tab latch area. It just makes the foam feel really secure. I don't know, I really like the foam. It's made well, it feels really nice, it's secure in place. And it's also gonna come with another set of foam. This is the top set of foam with no holes on top. It's solid, mainly because it's their storm foam. And obviously by the name of it, storm foam, it's designed to use when it's raining or storming outside. That's why there's no holes. It's gonna reduce the amount of rain that you're gonna get inside the lens and then reduce fogging a bit. This is also designed to work with the visor. You can kind of see those little like hole areas on the top. There are magnets in there that the visor just magnetically magnets do. It was also another area that I really didn't like on these things in that unboxing, is these magnets were pretty weak and you could just separate them very easy, but the production version is gonna have a much, much stronger magnets. And it's also gonna come with screws so you can just permanently mount this visor to the foam if you want to. It shouldn't really come as any surprise that the Zero is made very, very well. I mean, since Carbon started making paintball stuff, we'll say like seven years ago or something in there, the stuff has been made very well and they've been a standout in terms of quality. So the Zero is just like that, right? Everything's made very well. The strap feels great. All the rubber feels great. The foam is made well. I really like the mounting system of the foam. That case is awesome. It's great that it's coming with a case, right? The thing's 200 to $230, which makes it maybe $10 more than some of the other high-end masks, but I think it's worth it. I think that it breathes very, very well. It's very lightweight. It's made very well. I'm not really sure what else you could ask for in a mask, right? I think that maybe it could be $100, but I don't think today in 2022, $200 for a paintball mask, $200 for the best paintball mask, really not that bad of a deal. I mean, honestly, I think the thing's underpriced. I think 250 and 300 would be fine for me. So at $200, the carbon mask is really good. You know, I mean, it's the best paintball mask you can buy right now, probably.